Good day, amateurs. Welcome back. My name is Jim, Victor Alpha 7, Sierra Hotel Golf. I live in Chilliwack. I'm going to show you a couple of Raspberry Pis, uh, how I'm going to use them uh, with Packet Radio. I'm going to give big thanks to Jason, KM4ACK, all his work on the Build a Pi scripts here that I used on one of the Pis. I highly recommend checking out his YouTube channel. There's tons of content there for the amateur radio operator. I also want to give a big shout out to Northwest Digital Radio, their Draws hat that I use on uh, the, one of the other pies. And also a shout out to Basil N7NIX, created most of the scripting, I believe, for the Draws image that I use. And then finally, John Weissman, who created the BPQ software. I'm using the Lin PPQ software for the Raspberry Pis. I, in fact, use Jason's Build a Pi script to download most of the software. So you, I assume we're all familiar with uh, Jason's scripts and how they work. If you're not, I highly recommend going to check them out. This is computer we see here. The screen we see here is uh, Jason's script. This is the one that's going to be hosting the Lin PPQ software. So first of all, I want to stop Pat. I'm going to go into Pat menu, manage Pat WinLink, Pat login logout. I'm just going to log out. You can see Pat stops there. It's just going to stop the modems there. Now I'm going to open up a terminal. CD to Lin BPQ, which is where Jason installs all of the Lin PPQ software. He has a great piece of software installed in there called the Pi BPQ Config Gen. So you can generate a configuration file. I could do a video on configuring Lin BPQ if required. So I'm just going to go Lin PPQ start that program up. Then I'm going to go back to Pat menu and I'm going to start Direwolf in the packet menu. Because I've stopped Pat prior to doing this and started Lin BPQ, Jason's automatic scripting will automatically open me up into the BPQ node administration page. And that's all we really need to do on the node side. This is now a portable node. Let's open up the draws hat now. I already have direwolf running as you can see there. I'm just going to open up a terminal window here. Let's make it a bit bigger so we can see it. call UDR0 is the name in the draws world and I'm going to connect to the A7 SHG. Let's see what happens. Question mark, list of available commands. that one for some reason. Let's try that again. Okay, let's disconnect and try to connect again. mark for available commands. There we go. In this scenario I want to connect to the RMS. I'll show you how WinLink works. So there I am connected to WinLink through VA7SHG's internet connection. Raspberry Pi is connected to the internet. So let's just send a command which will challenge WinLink and get me to log in with my VE7 Tango Golf Zulu.
too many login attempts. Let's go back to nodes. Actually, they, that may not be recognized. Let's try by. By is generally always recognized. Yeah, let's try this one more time. So we'll do call UDR VA seven SHG. Okay, there we go. I'm now connected via WinLink through the LinBBQ32 node. I'm going to send a command which will give me a challenge. command to send a message is sp space and the email address enter subject for new message And that appears that my message has now been sent. Let's say bye. And there we go. Test message for YouTube. Hope that's helpful. Seven three.